This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audio book at audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. Here about to do my review over the G-Form iPad Extreme Sleeve. And this sleeve is supposed to be able to fully protect the iPad first generation or the iPad 2 in the toughest, toughest of circumstances. So it is a very lightweight material and very flexible, more flexible than I thought it was going to be. It's really nothing hard to it. Uh, so it uses a technology called RPT, which is the reactive protection technology that this company uses for other products like knee pads and elbow pads and stuff. But it made an iPad sleeve out of it and said it can really withstand almost anything you can do to it. So I wanted to do my own little soldier test to it. So I decided to put some boots on and see if I can stomp a hole into this iPad too. So I was jumping up and down, putting all my body weight on it to see if I can do any damage to it. Nothing happened at all to the iPad 2. Now, my next test, I was actually a little bit nervous because I took a hammer to it and I started going ham on it. Well, that's kind of corny. But I took a hammer to it and I started just banging on it, banging on it, and I went all across the surface area. This is screen facing up, so I went to corners, went to the middle of it, and again, nothing happened at all. It came out without a scratch. So at that point, I was like, what else can I do to it? Then I ran across a uh, video from the people at mobilesurf.com where they actually had their sleeve as well, and they ran over with a, a car. So I said, hmm. We're going to do that for my review. So I went out to the park, took my iPad 2 out with the sleeve, rubbed up my car, and go ahead and watch what happens. All right, guys, so here we are outside. About to give you the test you came here to see. So there's my iPad 2. The sleeve is right under that, and I'm getting ready to run that over with my car there. I'm going to show as much as you can without showing my license plate. But anyway, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing a YouTube video on the iPad. This is going to provide you a very comfortable gaming experience. You're going to be gaming for a lot of All right. playing. So you should be able to hear it down the way you can see it because of the glare. So anyway, the video is playing. I'm going to slide it in the sleeve here. This is a tight fit. This is help, uh, All the right, there we go. Going to zip it up. Sorry for the bad camera work here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. But anyway, there it is. The iPad 2 is in the sleeve. You can probably still hear it there. Your video is still playing. Nothing else is protecting this iPad 2. Let's get this show on the road. So I'm going to run back here to my car. All righty. All right. Why well, am I reaching for my seatbelt for? But, but anyway, uh, there's the iPad 2. You can still see it there. And I'm going to get up to speed as fast as I can. And we're going to get this show started in 3, 2, 1. Ooh, that did not sound good. Did y'all hear that? I don't know whether you can hear that or not. I'm going to see if I'm going to back up on it here. See if I can hit it again. Maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, I got it again. Ah, nice. All right, let's go to see what damage we caused here, people. All right, so I got this thing at least four times uh, with my front and rear. There. All right. So there's the sleeve right there. The sleeve is a little scratched up there. All right, I got a little scratches there on the sleeve. I hit it real hard this time. I actually did this before. <laughs> so I messed up the video. All right, so I'm taking the iPad 2 out right now. And there it is. It's not playing. I think it hit the home button. Let me go ahead and see if the video still plays. Nothing is damaged on the screen. All right, you can still hear it. Video still playing. So the iPad 2 is still in here in good condition. Nothing's wrong with it at all. Sleeve is a little scratched up, but it's not too bad for what has happened to it. All right, it works. So as you can see, the sleeve really does live up to its name. I put it through some tough tests, and it passed them very easily. I think this is going to be the perfect solution for people to do a lot of outdoorsy types of stuff, so you don't have to worry about any damage coming to your iPad. If you're like a mountain biker or you do climbing, nothing's going to happen to your iPad. And also for regular use as well, just around the house, or throw it into a car, throw it into your trunk, and get ready to go somewhere around the city. Again, nothing's going to happen to it. This thing really does live up to its name. It's good to get a product like this that really does exactly what it says it's going to do. And so at $59.95, the price for this sleeve, you can get it in black and yellow, black and yellow, black and okay. You can get it in either black on yellow. There's my iPad going off now. I'm telling me I need to hurry up in this video. Uh, but I think it's a really good price uh, and a really good deal for this type of product. So anyway, guys, before we head out of here, let's go to take one last look at our sponsor for this video, and that is Audible.